afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, uh, and welcome to our talk on uh, really from the Department of Management uh, at King's, which is not in this building at all. Uh, it's across the river in the Waterloo campus, and we're in the Franklin Wilkins building, which is the on Stamford Street behind the National Theatre. My name's David Needle, and I am the Director of uh, Undergraduate Studies in, uh, in the Department of Management. And really, I'm, I'm going to talk to you today about two courses. Uh, one that you certainly have known about, which is the BSc Business Management. The other program you may not have heard about, and it's only been... It, it, all our programs have to go through a college bureaucracy, and the college bureaucracy put its stamp on this course only last week, and we are now able to advertise it, and it will be running from uh, September 2014, and that is a BSc in Economics and <coughs> Management. Uh, I'll talk to you about both courses. There is some overlap between them, as will become clear. I hope, it says here, this will be a short presentation. Uh, I hope for my sake and yours that it is. Um, I'm going to talk to you about applications. I'm going to give you some background about the department. I'm going to look at the course structure uh, of the, the two programs. I'm going to try and give you some idea of what it's going to be like as undergraduate students here at King's in the Department of Management and try and tell you, well, we think there are some benefits of doing this particular program. Hopefully there will be plenty of time for questions. I'll be able to take some questions here and I'll be able to stay on for another 30 minutes after this. Uh, we are in... Young? Uh, and, and we'll be there. There's coffee there. There's probably some biscuits left if the staff in the department haven't eaten them all. And there'll be plenty of opportunity to chat to me. Young will we'll certainly be there then. Okay. This particular slide only relates to the BSc Business Management Programme, simply because we haven't yet received any applications for BSc Economics and Management. Uh, they will be coming through this year. The one thing that you should know is that it's, it's highly competitive. Last year, or for this year's first year intake, which started last week, we received over 3,300 applications. Uh, that's the reason we don't interview you, simply because it would take us forever to go through that many interviews. We have around 230 places. This is a slightly movable feast. Some years it's 220, some years it's 230, it may even be 240 this year, uh, depending upon the, uh, the, the decisions made at college level here at King's. What we are finding is that the quality of our applications is actually going up. Uh, this is very pleasing for us. And last year, in order to get our 230, which who started last week, we made uh, around 900 offers of, of places. Now, what are, what are we requiring of, of you as students? Our base requirement is, for those of you doing A-levels, we are looking for three grade A's at A-level and a grade B at AS level. In addition to that, we're expecting you to have got at least the grade B in GCSE Maths and GCSE English Language. One of the growth areas of study for some of our applicants is in fact the International Baccalaureate. 
including many students who do that in this country. Uh, for the IB, we want you to get the International Baccalaureate, we want you to get uh, 35 points, and that includes three lots of six points at, 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 at higher level for the IB. For those of you that are coming from education systems, uh, say in, in France or Germany or Italy, then we have our equivalent requirements for you. And uh, I can't reel off all of them. There are too many of them because we get many international students, not just from Europe, but, but from Russia, Kazakhstan, People's Republic of China. And uh, the central admissions people at King's will be able to advise you very carefully on the requirements if you're in one of those education systems. We do give students some preference, but only a marginal preference, if they've focused on social science subjects, so economics A-level is, 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 is quite a good A-level to have, uh, but that's not a hard and fast rule. Uh, it's more important what we do look at is, is the whole person and what they are bringing into to Kings. But it is highly competitive. I put up there that there is always, as with all universities, some wriggle room around August time. As a university, King's does not go into clearing. We don't need to. We have sufficient numbers of applications. Uh, what we would prefer to do is relook at some of your, uh, your applications. And in some cases, we are quite prepared to drop a point. So quite prepared to, to accept two A's and a B or 34 IB, so don't rule yourself out. Uh, get on that phone and, and challenge us uh, when you get your results. We do think personal statements are very important, and I know personal statements are difficult because you've, you've got to appeal to a number of different universities. Um, on the other hand, what we're looking for in personal statements, first of all, is honesty. Do not think you've got to come up with a wacky personal statement uh, that sets you apart from the crowd. If it's that wacky, we don't want you. And the other thing about the, 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 the personal statement is that we want you to be, be, be fair, not try to impress us, uh, just come up with your motivation for study. That's, that's very, very important. For those of you who may now be interested in the BSc Economics and Management, uh, the requirements are almost the same. We're not insisting on A-level maths. Uh, this sets us apart uh, from many courses involving economics. Uh, we've increased the number of staff uh, who teach economics. We've taken on some very good new professors in economics in the last 18 months. And their view is that they'd much rather teach you ec maths from the perspective of economics. So all the maths teaching on our economics and management course is going to be taught by our economists in the department. So the focus is on maths for economics rather than on pure maths. Having said that, uh, we're willing to accept students with two A's and a B at A level provided that that qualification uh, has an A level maths included. The only maths requirement for this course, or the baseline maths requirement, is that you get an A or an A star in maths at GCSE level. And, and the, whatever the equivalents are in, in various education systems. Again, what the economists are looking for in your personal statement is a demonstration of, of interest in economics. Uh, I think that's important that it comes through. Now, what can I tell you about the, the Department of Management? Um, the Department of Management, first of all, 
starts from the perspective is that we're a social science department. We are in the school within King's of social science and public policy. So there is a social science orientation. If you are looking for a very practical business school type course which teaches you the tricks of the trade and a bunch of techniques, then while we do some of that on our program and have to do some of that, for example, in courses like accounting and financial management where you need to, to understand uh, balance sheets, profit and loss accounts, etc. Our focus is really is teaching you to think. And we emphasize this for a very good reason. That teaching you a bunch of practical skills, which may be current in 2013, 2014, by the time you graduate in 2017, I will guarantee that quite a lot of those practical skills are no longer used by businesses. Equally, what are we teaching you practical skills for? Because by the time you are in your mid-30s, you've probably gone through several careers already in different sectors of business and industry. What we think is more important is to get you to think to get you to question, to get you to challenge. Because by doing that, we're going to make you good problem solvers. And being able to solve problems, you are adding more value to your employer uh, than, than any tricks of the trade that we might teach you can do. So we, we offer a very broad perspective. We offer what we think is a highly stimulating intellectual environment. And as a department, uh, we base a lot of our teaching on our research. A lot of our research is, is fairly cutting edge. And a lot of it is still very applied. We've done a uh, lot. We've done lots of research, for example, for the army. We're currently doing some research for the Church of England, for example. So we work very closely. We've also worked with the National Health Service very closely. So a lot of our research, although it is academic in orientation, is linked to, to real organizations. We're very proud of our research record. The UK government uh, gives uh, money and judges universities on the basis of their research and the last time uh, they reviewed research at all UK universities we came fifth in the whole of the UK. We were judged to be the fifth best uh, department of management in the whole of the UK and that's when we had a department that only had 25 people in it. Uh, we were fifth equals to be fair uh, but we were fifth equals with the London School of Economics and Warwick. Uh, the only universities that were better than us were the London Business School, which doesn't do undergraduate programmes, the universities of Oxford, Cambridge and Cardiff, which has a very good business school. We're based here in central London. As I've said, we're at the Waterloo campus. What I want to do now is very quickly go through the three years that you will be taking, firstly on the BSc Business Management Programme and secondly on the BSc Economics and Management Programme. Your first year on the BSc Business Management Programme is largely compulsory. You will be taking four compulsory subjects. These are accounting and financial management, principles of economics, work organizations and societies, and the evolution of modern business. In addition to that, you have an option, one option. You can either take communication skills, and while I mentioned we were academic, this in fact is a very practical oriented course, and 
the guy teaching it is a consultant in communication skills with many multinational organizations and as part of that course he gets you to write real job, up, well, fake job applications, CVs, send them off to a range of multinationals and get feedback <coughs> from the senior management team there. If you don't do communication skills as an option, then you can do a language. And the range of languages here at King's is vast, as well as all the kind of modern European languages, French, German, Italian, Portuguese, Spanish, etc. Uh, we also offer programs in uh, Mandarin and Cantonese Chinese, Arabic, Japanese, Hebrew, etc. So there are Russian, there are a range of, of different languages that you can take and there's an opportunity to study that language over all three years of your program. In the second year we lay down three compulsory subjects, one of which is a double module, that's organizational research methods. <coughs> Here you learn how to carry out your own research, both in quantitative terms and in qualitative terms. So we, we, we focus on how you gather data, how you analyze that data statistically, but also how you carry out interviews and how you depict those interviews in your write-ups. In addition to organizational research methods, we offer uh, as compulsory subjects marketing, principles of marketing, and also international business. We are a very much a, an internationally focused business uh, department, nearly called as a business school, department of management, um, because that's where <coughs> current business operates and that's where the future of business lies. In addition to the compulsory subjects that you have to do, uh, there are a range of options that you must choose for in your second year. I've got up a typical option list up there. You can choose all those subjects, any of those subjects, uh, put four of them together to make up the program that you are happiest with. Uh, all of them tend to run. Uh, in any one year, we may have to drop some of them because a member of staff is on sabbatical research leave or a member of staff has left us. But equally, we have new options coming on stream uh, virtually every year as we take on new professors who want to teach an option that is related to their particular interests. When you get to the final year, it's all options. There are no compulsory subjects in your final year. Unlike many universities with business management degrees, we do not insist on you doing a project. A project is something that we consider special. We invite you to do a project, but only if you have demonstrated that you've got a grade that is equivalent to an upper second degree. Then the project you're allowed to do, provided you find a professor who's got the same interests as you and will act as your supervisor, and that particular project counts for, for two of those, we call them modules. But again, there's a lot of choice. The key thing here, I think, is that you can build the kind of program that you want. If you want to focus on marketing, you can. If you want to focus on the more behavioral aspects of management, you can. If you want to focus on finance and accounting, you can. It, it's really how you choose these subjects. And the other thing is that each of these subjects, uh, some are examined in an exam, others are assessed only by coursework. So again, you can find the style of learning that best suits you. If you're good at exams, you may want examinable subjects. If you feel you're better at coursework, 
then you may want to choose those subjects with the, that are assessed mainly by coursework. The economics and management course, on the other hand, not surprisingly, focuses on economics. It is a largely compulsory first year. Although you can take a language in your first year on this programme, but it has to be an additional module on top of your, your compulsory subjects. Uh, there are two courses here which overlap with the BSc Business Management. Accounting and Financial Management, Principles of Economics are the same. When you get to your second year, you have five uh, compulsory subjects. One thing I forgot to emphasise there is that the first year there's a fairly heavy input in maths and statistics on this course. As I said before, taught by the economists. By the time you get to your second year on this programme, you have five compulsory subjects. Now, again, interestingly, two of those compulsory subjects, principles of marketing and international business, are exactly the same as on the business management course, and you will be uh, taught with those. Uh, you've got two sets of options. Uh, one of your options is that really you've got to choose an economics type option. Your other option choices are from the, the, the whole business and management program. So again, there's an opportunity for you to focus on what you're interested in. By the time you get to your final year on this program, again, it's all options. You can do the project as you can on BSc Business Management, that four of your options will have to be specifically economic oriented, applied economics, money, bank, money and banking, uh, games and information, labour economics, health economics, etc. But again, you've got a free choice of your other four options, uh, which are the same option set as you have for BSc Business and management. So what is the degree like? What are you going to do when you get here? Well, we operate on two semesters, two teaching semesters, or teaching terms, if you want to use that title. Um, the first one runs from September through to December. And the second one runs from January through to the end of March, beginning of April. Each of those terms, semesters, is 12 weeks. So you've got 24 weeks of teaching. The third term, which is in May, is entirely given over to our examination system. And all examinations at King's take place at the same time. Uh, and in fact, uh, last year they all took place in the same building. Because we've got 20 odd thousand students here at King's all taking exams at the same time, there are no rooms in King's College big enough to house you all. Uh, so last year the exams took place at the, the Excel Centre. Uh, in, in East London. The Excel Centre was a venue for the Olympic Games and so we squeezed you in between the Olympic Games and the boat show um, at the Excel Centre. Uh, it's up to you really if you're doing compulsory courses uh, that dictates what you do in each semester but equally if you do options it's up to you how many options you take in each semester. So say in the second year we ask you to do four options. Ideally you could do two and two, but you could also do three and one if, if that's the option choice that you want and that's the, the learning choice that you're making for yourselves. We have two methods of teaching primarily in our department. One is a lecture where you will find yourself in a large group, 
could be up to 240 people, uh, could be as small as 80 or 90, depending on the option size. But what we then tend to do is we back that up each week by a tutorial. And a tutorial is where you are in a much smaller group. Uh, the first year tutorial sizes uh, this year are likely to be around 18, 19 people. <coughs> Uh, depending on the size of numbers taking the options, they can go up to 25 people, but we, we, we try and restrict them. That's our upper limit. For a tutorial, we give you uh, something to, to prepare. You have to bring that preparation to the tutorial. We give you questions, uh, and you have to discuss those questions with the tutor and with your fellow students. So, for example, I teach one of the first year subjects, Evolution of Modern Business. Um, I support all my lectures by, by case studies. Case studies that I've written to, to, to illustrate uh, the points that I make in the lecture. Uh, so, you'll be doing case studies on things like uh, uh, the setting up of the Jeep factory in Beijing, uh, the failure of Walmart in Germany, uh, News International in this country, and so on and so forth. We try and use multimedia and interactive methods of learning, and as I mentioned before, we assess you using both examination and coursework assessment. <coughs> A key person in your life with us is your personal tutor. You are allocated a personal tutor when you arrive in the department and that personal tutor will act as your personal tutor so long as they stay at King's uh, for the three years of your programme. So you'll keep the same personal tutor over three years. Uh, the personal tutor will want to see you at least two, three times a year. You can see them more than that if you wish. And they are there to, to keep an eye on your studies, to guide uh, your development as you go through the course, and be a sounding board for any issues you want to discuss with them, for example. What are the benefits of, of studying with us? Well, I think the, the benefits of studying with us is a, is a well-rounded business education. We get you to look at problems from a number of different perspectives. We get you to analyze and make decisions on sets of complex data relating to both business and management. And hopefully, when you leave us, you will be a prime independent thinker of value both to postgraduate study and certainly of value to most organisations. We think our course is intellectually challenging, uh, but equally, we think it's highly enjoyable. Throughout your time with us, uh, you will be able to have a range of, develop a range of your own personal skills, and you'll meet some interesting people. A lot of our students don't come from the United Kingdom. Uh, we've got groups of students on our program from China, from Russia, from Kazakhstan, from Germany, from France, from Italy, from Spain, uh, an increasing number, interestingly, from Sweden, uh, as well as, as students from the United Kingdom. So the opportunity there is to meet a lot of different interesting people. To match that, our own teaching faculty is very international. Our head of department is Australian. Uh, we've got members of our department who are American, uh, Israeli, Chinese, Taiwanese, uh, German, uh, Swiss, one who speaks French, one who speaks German, etc., etc. So we are a very internationally oriented department. And there are opportunities in our department also to study abroad. At the moment, those are limited, but in your second year, we've got an exchange agreement with the University of Hong Kong, 
and you can spend the whole of your second year in Hong Kong, and an exchange agreement with the University of Toronto, and you can spend the whole of your second year in Canada. In addition to that, when you come on the course, there'll be lots more opportunities to spend a term, only a term, not the whole year, somewhere else at a university in the world. The National University of Singapore, for example, it wants us to send students to them uh, for a term. And we've got a range of other universities, particularly in America, who are interested in taking our students for a term. These are just some of, of the jobs um, that our students go to. Uh, give you an example, in about four weeks' time, three of our graduates who graduated two years ago are coming back to us. They volunteered themselves. Each of them work as trainee consultants, uh, one for Accenture, uh, one for KPMG, and one for PricewaterhouseCoopers. And those three are coming back to, to, to meet with our current students to tell them what it's been like after leaving Kings and, and graduating. But there are a range of different courses there. In any one year, I would say 60% of our students go into directly into employment, and 40% of our students move into mass taught master's programs either at King's or at other universities like the LSE, Imperial, and at the Cass Business School. And we're very proud that uh, the Sunday Times awarded us as the King's as the, the best university in the, the, in the country. I was about to say the world, but that's, uh, I, I get carried away. <laughs> the best university in the country uh, for employability. And the key thing that we emphasize is that our graduates actually get graduate jobs. They don't get any jobs, they get jobs that, that firms are taking on graduate trainees, and it's those jobs that they get, not filler jobs while they're hanging around waiting for a real job to come along. 